Hey everybody, Beer Gaming Fan here. So as some of you may have heard, and for those of you who haven't, now you'll know, Oculus removed the DRM that they added, I guess it was a couple of weeks ago, that uh, blocked, or attempted to block, unsuccessfully, aftermarket mods that allowed their exclusive games to be played on other devices. Now a lot of people are thinking, oh, maybe Oculus is finally playing nice. No. Oculus outright lied. They got caught. Everyone screamed at them, and so they're backpedaling. And keep in mind that even though they've removed the DRM, which actually it, it means absolutely nothing considering the DRM was defeated by hacks less than a day later. So it's an empty gesture at best. The games are still locked exclusives. They're not opening up their games for anyone to use. They're just basically no longer unsuccessfully attempting to block aftermarket mods that they promised five months before releasing the DRM they were never going to do. So they got caught in a lie while releasing DRM that didn't work. And so now they're rescinding the DRM that didn't work anyway and continuing to produce and continuing to bribe companies to produce exclusive games for the Oculus Store and Oculus Rift. It'd be one thing if all they wanted is exclusivity as far as the store that the games were purchased from. So you had to buy it from the Oculus Store, but you could play it on any device. That'd be one thing. Still be a little dickish. Steam doesn't do that. But at least they wouldn't be locking in their customers. Because keep in mind, this is what's going on. They're screwing over their own customers and themselves. They're blocking out the majority of the market because every single headset that comes out, with the exception of the Oculus, will not have access to these games, at least without hacking them. So they're denying themselves the ability to sell to all people who have any headset headset other than the Rift. So they're shooting themselves in the foot, first off. And they're screwing over their customers by holding them hostage. Because once you buy a game on the Rift store, you have to keep buying Rift products, Oculus products, in order to keep playing those games. If at some point down the road and a headset comes out that suits you better, you can't get it. Or at the very least, you have to hang on to your old, uh, your old Rift, get that other headset, and switch back and forth between the headsets. Whereas a game that you buy on Steam, assuming that whatever headset you buy in the future meets the requirements for the game that you purchase. So if it's a room scale game, the headset does room scale. It's a game that uses tracking controllers. You'll need tracking controllers, but they don't have to be Vive tracking controllers. You can play any game you buy on Steam on any hardware platform you want. And not only will Steam not pr try and prevent you from doing it, they will, at their own expense, pay publishers to keep their software open to everyone, and they will update their safety system, the chaperone system, to ensure that you, even though you're not using their products, are able to play games and play them safely. So the, the people that are praising Oculus for removing the DRM are completely missing the point. It's an empty gesture, at most. It's happening as a result of the massive and deserved backlash for lying and screwing over customers. And they're still keeping their games locked exclusive on the Oculus Store for only the Oculus Rift, and they're bribing developers to do this. At this point, anyone attempting to defend Oculus or still intending to purchase from Oculus 
how can you describe them as anything other than fanboys? This is really unfortunate, especially from the leading name in VR for most people. I mean, to a lot of the public, Oculus is the only name associated with VR. They've never heard of Vive. They've never heard of the, the headset that's coming out from Razer. They've never heard of the, the Fove. They've never heard of Star VR. All they've heard is Oculus. Oculus and VR, they're the synonymous for much of the public. And so when they hear all the really crappy things that Oculus is doing, that, to them, associates with all of VR. It damages the entire VR industry. And for those of you who think that VR is just a, a gimmick, like the, the Kinect and things like that, there are entire developer, national developer conferences dedicated to nothing but VR. The industry is taking this very seriously. This isn't just Microsoft promoting one single product. There are hundreds of companies that are developing software and hardware for VR. There's three headsets currently available, another one coming out in a couple of months. There's another three headsets coming out next year, all from different companies. And there are, last I checked, 12 pages on Steam of VR content. That's just for the Vive. There's probably a couple more pages of Oculus-only content. I don't search those pages because I don't have a Rift. Plus whatever is on the, uh, the Oculus store. This is a major industry movement. People are taking it very seriously. Companies are investing millions upon millions of dollars. AAA gaming companies, for right now, are modifying their existing main titles like Fallout 4, Doom, um, Serious Sam, so that they fully support VR. There's tons of independents that are producing exclusively VR software, games targeted for only VR. They, these are all signs that the industry is taking it very, very seriously. I just wish that Oculus took it as seriously. Talk to you next time.